I'm going to share with you what is one of the best books on data science that I have ever read. It's free and it's important that you see it because, well, it's getting more and more difficult to find high quality free content. I'm going to show you the book, tell you why I like it and show you how to use it to get a job. So two questions come to mind. The first is, why go to all of the effort and time of creating such a great learning resource and then just give it away? And the other is, if it's that good, why is it so relatively unknown? The answer to the first one's easy. This was made by a group of Stanford professors and they're not doing it for the money. Show me the money! And the second answer, well, it doesn't have a big marketing budget. Okay, so why do I like it? Well, there are several reasons. First of all, it's concise. It doesn't go into any more detail than is necessary. It's comprehensive. It covers pretty much everything that you're going to need to know if you want to do data science. It's clear. The explanations are very well written. Everything's very well explained. And the best bit for me, the Python version has just been released a few weeks ago. So at the end of each chapter, there are what they call labs, where you get to go through all the concepts that the chapter contained, but learn how to implement them using Python. And then after that, there are lots of exercises, which if you work through, will really help you understand the concepts. That's where all the learning takes place, really. And so in just a few hundred pages, you have everything you need. But is it enough? It covers data science really well, but that's not going to be much use to you if no one actually taught you how to learn. Nobody taught me how to learn at school or at university, and that's quite common, which is why I recommend this. Using the latest findings from Cognitive Science, it teaches you how to become an effective learner, what methods work and what methods don't. And it shows quite convincingly that most people use ineffective learning methods, and if you only knew the right ones to use, you'd supercharge your learning. I think anyone serious about learning should have a copy of this. While we're on the subject of excellent learning materials, I would like to share a free and easy way of learning coding, math and data science that is a perfect accompaniment to this book, Brilliant.org. I really like Brilliant, and it's not just because they've sponsored this video. It's because over the years, their platform has really helped me to learn new topics and brush up on old ones. They teach you how to think, and they make learning a very active process. Brilliant has thousands of interactive lessons that range from basic to advanced topics, with new content added every month. After a brief quiz during sign-up, Brilliant tailors your learning path to your interests and skill level, allowing you to explore and learn at your own pace. I've been doing their new Thinking in Code course. Instead of just teaching you coding, this course gets you solving real-world problems right away. You'll be creating simple programs and understanding how coding impacts our world. If you're interested in trying out Brilliant, use my link, brilliant.org slash Python programmer, and sign up for free. You'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for 30 days, and the first 200 of you will get 20 percent off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. What else do I like about the book? Well actually quite a lot. It's got its own video course. I think it's on edX but if you go to the book's website you can get a link to the video course. But it's an entire free video course that accompanies the book and you can follow through the course and the book at the same time and it's made by the same people. It's really high quality. On the website as well there's also a forum and the website is where you'll find access to the free PDF of the book. And the link to that is in the description. OK, so how would I use all this to get a job? Well, once you've worked through to the end of chapter four, which is the chapter on classification, you'll have a pretty good idea of the basics. So at that point, what you should do is start contacting nonprofits and charities in sectors that you have an interest or some kind of expertise and offer to do projects for them for free. It's unlikely that they will have, certainly some of the smaller ones, that they'll have budgets for data scientists. So you could actually do some really valuable work and create some great insights for them. You'll learn so much from that, not just about how to work with data, but the sort of questions that clients want answered and the organizational limits and constraints that will affect what you can do. You'll learn how to talk to clients and the expertise that you gain from it will really help you in your job search because later down the line when you're having job interviews, you'll be able to talk about the projects that you've done and you'll have some real insight that other candidates at this level won't have. And then it's really just rinse and repeat. Keep working through the book and keep contacting charities and nonprofits and offering to do work for them. Then when you've reached the end of the book and have, say, I don't know, half a dozen or so projects under your belt, start applying for jobs.